Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Fagan Maradian here at the Paris Air Show at La Bourget, the historic airfield just outside the French capital. Our coverage here is sponsored by Bell, a Textron company, as well as Leonardo DRS. And we're here on the Textron Aviation and Defense Stand to talk to Chuck Gummo, who is a uh, regional vice president uh, for uh, Europe uh, and Africa. Chuck, it's always a pleasure seeing you. We, we spoke at the Royal International Air Tattoo last year, and it was a great conversation. Good seeing you too, my friend. Um, so uh, let's talk a little bit. Uh, we're in front of the AT6, obviously the Wolverine, which is the light attack variant of the T6 Texan trainer. Uh, let's talk about the T6 a little bit uh, on the market. Uh, the airplane has been the standard U.S. military uh, trainer for some time now, as well as with allied militaries. You guys are working on always improving the product. Talk to us about sort of the latest iteration of the aircraft and where where you guys are marketing and what are the next opportunities? Sure. Uh, first thing is we have our 1,000th aircraft coming down the uh, production line, and we're very proud to have that 1,000th aircraft coming out. We have over 3.2 million hours of uh, training aircraft out there um, in the fleet. We just delivered to the U.K. Uh, 10 aircraft, so they have their full air aircraft complement. We're marketing in across Europe. We're marketing in Africa. There's a big competition coming up in Spain that we're going to compete for uh, their business and the integrated uh, training system, working a lot with uh, Spanish industry uh, to pr produce the uh, best uh, integrated training system in the world. And, um, you know, it is a very, very crowded market, right? I mean, nations that don't necessarily have any other aircraft or major, uh, at least combat aircraft program, have uh, pretty sophisticated trainer efforts. What do you think gives you guys uh, the edge in some of these competitions where folks may want to go to uh, either a homegrown product or, or, or something that comes from, for example, a neighboring com country rather than the United States? Well, there's two things. There's performance and there's logistics support. So the first part of it is performance. Our aircraft is a, is a true training uh, platform that's easy to fly and not only can train uh, basic students all the way up through advanced. The Air Force is working with the Pilot uh, Trainer Next program which takes a student from a T6 all the way up into the F-16 and our aircraft is very capable of doing that type of training. The other part of it is is that the logistics support. With a thousand aircraft and parts out there in the, in the global support network, we have our supply chain is mature. We know what, what parts are needed. We can uh, uh, provide those parts in a very economical way and we can get those parts to the, to the uh, customers when they're needed. And how many more airplanes do you think uh, are, are that you're gonna sell, right? I mean, do you guys have a number in mind, another 200, another 400? How much more life is there to the program? Well, I think globally there's there's a lot of opportunities out there. I don't wanna put a number to it, but we do have a lot of uh, prospects going on uh, currently, and we expect to start to close some of these uh, this year and out for the next couple of years. So I think there's the market out there, and I think T6 is the perfect aircraft for this market. Uh, Chuck Gummo, uh, uh, vice president, regional vice president for Europe uh, and the Middle East, and our sister said also proud uh, former uh, Marine here at Textron Aviation and uh, Defense. Always a pleasure, Chuck. Always Thanks pleasure. very, very Thank much. You. And look forward to seeing you at uh, Riyadh soon. Yes, I'll see you there. All right. <laughs>